Following on from the video where we installed Bootstrap email, we will now create our first email template. The end result will be similar to this. Before we dive into the project, let us have a look at the supported Bootstrap classes. For this, we go to the Bootstrap email for Node.js homepage. Here we see just some of the classes. Clicking on a class takes us to the Bootstrap email documentation page where we see all of the available classes. We also see the only available breakpoint which is large. Keep this in mind when creating the template. Also of interest is the image element. Here we note that we must include the height and width to satisfy Outlook. Lastly, there is a preview element which allows text to show up in the inbox but stays hidden in the email. Once in Wappler, we navigate to the email templates source folder that we created in the previous video. Click the plus sign and in the dialog that appears enter the name of the new document. Note that no extension is required. When the save button is clicked our document is created. The problem is we do not need all of this functionality. Open code view and delete all that is not required for a bootstrap document. Any additional information like doc type will be added by the compiler. In design view, we first choose the large view as shown in the documentation. Then add a container to wrap the contents. Inside the container, we add a row and a column. This will be for our heading. Duplicate this row three times for the rest of our document. For the heading, add an image. According to the documentation, we need to add width and height. We also make the image responsive and set the width to 100%. For the second row, duplicate the existing column and resize the columns. The third row has two identical columns. We only need to develop the first column which can then be duplicated. That is it for the layout. For the first column in the second row, we add a heading, a paragraph and a link. The second column in this row contains an image to which we add a width and height. The first column of the third row contains a heading which we convert to an H3 it also contains two identical paragraphs. Here we create one paragraph that will be duplicated later on. The last row contains two paragraphs. Next, we add some meaningful text to the content and duplicate identical sections.
In the footer row, we convert the last paragraph into a link. To add horizontal lines, we go to the DOM panel. Add an HR element after the first row. We also add an HR element before the last row. Change the view to mobile. But before we make layout adjustments for the mobile, let's dive into the code. Here we see that this version of WAPLA has accidentally added improper code, which we will now rectify. The next version of WAPLA will have this corrected. While we're here, give the body a light grey background. To give the container a white background, we'll add an inline style rule. We could have used the bootstrap class as we did for the body. I found that this did not work. Lastly, we add the preview text. This has to be done manually because WAPLA does not have a preview element. This element is unique to Bootstrap Email. Back in Design View, we see that a few adjustments have to be made to the template to make it more attractive. We'll start by giving the container a padding of 3. The image for the second row needs to be centered. The subtitles need to have a top margin. and the footer needs to be centered. In large view, we see that the previous adjustments in mobile view have not had an adverse effect. We've saved the file and we'll open the terminal window to compile our file. In the command line we type gulp email. This has created the email template in the output folder. Viewing the email template shows us that more needs to be done. For this we go into code view and remove the links to app connect and to bootstrap CSS. Scrolling down, we also remove bootstrap JS. Save the file, which due to its size will take slightly longer than normal. In design view, we see an almost perfect email template in large view as well as mobile view. Further adjustments can be made I'll leave that up to your imagination.